all works out. How about that? Fun times. Cool, so that's that. I mean, we can always do another one. Um, and yeah. So I got some snacks, got some snacks. Like I said, I have a ton of snacks, so many snacks. And I decided that the snacks I'm gonna do this time are the following. Um, we're definitely gonna do these. So these are banana, banana, uh, cookie, chocolate things. <laughs> these are very strange. I wanna try those. We're also going to do one of two, one of two of these. So I got both of them. They are some Choco and Creamu Anpan, or Anban, no pan, Anpan, no? Hon, Anhon, no. I think it's pan. These are like these little chocolate and cream buns. There's two of them. Which one did we choose? I don't know. You helped me decide. And then for the main event, we have Ta -da! smoked bacon cheese. Holy crap. These are going to be good. I have a feeling. Especially because this company that makes these corn snacks, this company's great. All the flavors I've tried from this company have been really, really good. So I am super excited about that so let's start off with the banana um, banana choco <laughs> chocolate kind of cookie things so they actually do a um, they have a sakura version of this which um, i can show you oh no my jenga wall is gonna fall Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I did it. I did it. How did I do it? I don't know. I did it. So there's a Sakura version that I got a while back. The same kind of um, style or type. And this one's super yummy. Super good. Super, super, super yummy. So I have high hopes for this banana one. But banana flavored snacks are very hit or miss. They can either be really good or kind of gross. As you guys may remember, if you were kids and you ate runts, remember runts? They were like fruit flavored, kind of hard, is kind of candy. They had a banana flavor. So we shall see. Let us see how these are. Packaging is very nice, very pretty. No, I have to respect the stick. Yeah, this dude looks like Mario, right? <laughs> it's like maybe it's like if Mario never became a plumber and he became a baker, then that's what that dude would be. I can already smell the banana. This is. This is very hard to open. And I think it's because I didn't open it the way they wanted me to open it. I'm getting punished for not opening it the correct way. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a cookie. And then inside is almost like a sandwich. It looks like cheese, right? So the, the outside is like a cookie. And then the inside cheesy part is the banana filling. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, these are good. These are really good. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm-hmm. -hmm. Oh, yeah. These are really yummy. <laughs> They're really yummy. The, the cookie part on the outside is so good it's so 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 good i think that's why like the cookie part is what makes it and then the banana filling because the cookie part is so good it almost tastes like banana bread in a way <laughs> because it because when you have like really good banana bread usually with the banana bread 
you're getting that really sweet banana uh, bready taste, and then you get like the aftertaste of the banana. So these are kind of like, they, it tastes like banana bread in a way. But yeah, these are these are actually way better than I, I thought. I wasn't really expecting much from them, but I will have to say that I was pleasantly surprised. These are a win. Very good. Very good. How about that? Then we have the Mario. The Mario dude. <laughs> so we have two different versions. We have Choco on Pan. And we have Creamu on Pan. So which one should I try? Should I try Choco or Creamu? I don't know which one should I try. I just noticed that the cream one has a cat on it. Look at this little cat peeking over his shoulder. <laughs> what's he? What's that cat doing? There's no. There's no animal on the Choco one, sadly. So, yeah. Custard cream got. There's cream inside. That's what he's trying to say. Um, Mario cookies. Choco? Oh, I guess we're doing Choco. I didn't want to do Choco. I wanted to do the cream ones. <laughs> All right. I'll do the Choco. Really wanted to do the cream ones, but whatever. Whatever you guys want. I'm doing this for you. Look at the packaging. It's got the Mario dude. I wonder if he has a name. Does, does he have a name? I don't know. Mm, I don't know if he has a name. I wonder if he does. Anyway, so this is the... Choco one. Look at this. It's so cute. It looks like a little bun. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Look at that. So cute. Hmm. So inside is like a Choco filling. And It's very strange. So it looks like it has like little sesame seeds on there. It looks like. Um, to be honest, I don't really like it. <laughs> the, the pond itself So this is the opposite of the of these. So in these, the outside, the cookie part of the outside was so insanely good that it almost didn't matter what the filling tasted like because the cookie on the outside is so great. However, these, the pawn itself is not very flavorful and it's not very good. So the filling is not enough to save it. And I don't really like chocolate either. So, um, oops, I gotta close the, uh... <laughs> yeah. I don't like these. They're not very good. Not a fan. Don't like it. So I guess maybe I will try since I don't like these, and I don't really feel like eating the rest, I guess we should try the cream ones then. Let's see if the cream ones get redeemed. Oh, this one has better packaging too, right? Or is it the same? Oh, it's, just, it's the same, it's just purple, it's blue. So this is the the cream one. Very similar. 
same kind of style. Hmm. Mmm. These are way better. <laughs> These are way, way, way better. Um, I'm trying to think. So the, the pond itself is, is still kind of bland, like I mentioned earlier, but the cream filling inside is way tastier than the choco filling. Hmm. Oh yeah. That cream filling. That's very good. These are actually pretty good. <laughs> After I like totally trashed these. <laughs> these are actually really good, actually. <laughs> the more I think about it. I still think the the pond itself is is a little bland, but the the filling inside of this is so yummy that <clears throat> I actually don't kind of mind. Yeah, wind. These are these are yummy. <laughs> I would get these again. I would I would most certainly would not get these again. Absolutely not. But um, I would definitely get Mario cream ponds again. Um. Well, hello, hello, Sto Stolito from California. I hope you're able to breathe, man, with all the fires that's going on. Good to see you. I'm just trying some ponds. I just tried some choco ponds and some cream ponds. And these choco ones are not very good. <laughs> I don't recommend them. But these ones were good. <laughs> and it looks like Mario. <laughs> Maybe this is Mario. Maybe he's like, maybe his, he got laid off as a plumber and he decided, you know what? I've always wanted to be a baker. I'm going to do some bacon. So, yeah. So those were, those are those. So now the main event. Yes. Yes. Smoked bacon cheese. So let me show you another version of these snacks to give you some context. As in my snack closet. So this company, excuse me, this company makes a bunch of different snacks. And if you, if you can tell by the packaging, they're pretty much Cheetos. It's, the Japanese version of Cheetos. They look like Cheetos. They they have the same texture and consistency as Cheetos, but they're way better than Cheetos. So this particular flavor is is probably about as basic as you're gonna get, just the regular old cheese flavor. But they also do a barbecue flavor. They they have like a a paella flavor. <laughs> they have a um, what are some of the other ones? Um, they had another weird flavor, like a three cheese flavor. I don't know. But this particular one I've never seen before because it, it's the craft, the craft version. Holy crap. This is super weird. And this is smoked bacon and cheese. Uh, smoked bacon and cheese. And as you can see, there's like the icon or the character for these snacks is this little gorilla dude. I like him. He's cute. I like this gorilla dude. He's cool. And he's not he's not prominently featured on the front, but you can see the gorilla dude on the back. And he is saying Harappa Harappa Kong? Harappe Kong? Harappa. Harape Kong. Is that his name? Harape Kong? That's what it says. I don't know. <laughs> it says, richness of smoked blended cheese powder, savory smell of smoked bacon powder. Yeah, how about that? So, let us try these. I'm really excited. Hopefully they're good. Oh, yeah. That smells good. 
So I'm going to get my chopsticks because I've now become one of those people that eats chips with chopsticks. And if you don't do this, I recommend doing it because as I almost dropped it on the ground. Cheeto fingers, when you were a kid, were pretty awesome. As an adult, not so much. So I like to eat with chopsticks. So let me get a good piece. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Are these are these things turned on? Is this working? I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Wow. Maybe I should not hype myself up on stuff before I try them. Because, you know what guys, I hate to say it, these aren't that good. They're not that good. The flavor is so muted, so completely muted. I can't even really taste the cheese. The bacon is not strong. Remember last time I had those, those delicious smoked bacon pretz, or whatever they were called? Those were way better than these way better. I'm really disappointed. I, I had high hopes for these, but it's, it, look at the, look at the front. It does not, it doesn't sell me. It's just, it's too muted. The cheese flavor does not come out strong. And the, the bacon flavor is also not strong. It's almost like they scaled back on both. They were too afraid to make one or the other strong. So instead they just made both weak. And yeah, really bummed so kind of a weird snack day because i thought the banana chocolates were not going to be good and i ended up really liking them um i didn't think i would like the cream ponds and i ended up really liking them and i thought i would really like these and i kind of don't they're not that good i mean they're okay but Compared to the other flavors from this brand, definitely not on par. So what can you do? Can't always win, man. Can't always win. Sometimes you think you're going to like something and you don't. That is why you always have to try before you buy. Because you got to try it first. See if you like it. But yeah, well, that's that. That's it for snacks. That's it for snacks this week. But like I said, I have a bunch of other snacks to try, um, including Deborah snacks. <laughs> as soon as as soon as I can wrangle Manai.